what's happening crypto lovers blockchain enthusiasts and of course the haters without you guys we cannot really get much of the FUD in the market and FUD creates well momentum whether it is bullish bearish we really need momentum without the momentum well there is not really much of transaction in the market so today I'm gonna be talking about my favorite topic of course Bitcoin however my main approach is going to be focusing on countries. I'm not going to talk about individual company related updates here and there, but majorly what's happening in certain countries, starting from China all the way to Israel, Switzerland, Palestine, uh, you name it, we will be covering it and even Ukraine. Let's see what current high coin sentiment uh, AI is telling us with regard to market sentiment Bitcoin ethereum ripple EOS and stellar Litecoin Cardano Monero they are on among the top 10 they are all on the bullish side showing well buy sentiment uh, on 24 hour chart uh, we can see all on the green zone and however though on daily time frame we see well a little bit of bearishness on on Bitcoin going backwards by 0.25 percent. Ethereum is just flat, pretty much at 210 dollar, 209 dollar. Bitcoin Cash is the biggest loser uh, in line with Litecoin, and let's not forget the fact that Litecoin, after the recent event, was actually on a bullish side. Now, Switzerland and uh, Israel are moving forward as we know Switzerland has been uh, doing quite a lot of good uh, developments with regard to adoption of blockchain technology and uh, giving the Swiss uh, quality assurance behind quite a lot of good companies have moved to Switzerland meanwhile Israel in the past has been involved with a lot of uh, binary options related activities which I personally have opposed over and over I don't like binary options as a as a company or as an as an any kind of industry for the fact that it's being built on misery so it is cheerable factor that if Israel is gonna be uh, opening up for for cryptocurrencies and blockchain and we know that there are a lot of financial companies in Israel and uh, being impacted by Israel uh, and its decision overall. Moving forward, China is being China as usual. Uh, well, we have two news actually. First, I want to start with A to Z market side. Chinese central bank reiterated the crypto trading risks, uh, commenting blah blahs as usual. ICOs suspected of illegal selling tokens, illegal issuing securities, illegal criminal activities, financial fraud, pr uh, pyramid schemes, and other illegal criminal activities uh, should be reported to the government. They are basically trying to get the people to report these companies or, well, in another word, become snitches in a way. Uh, however, on the other side, the Chinese blockchain fund basically decided to, to create another stable coin, but this time not on USD, but on Japanese yen. The company we are talking about is being managed by the Bitcoin uh, evangelist, let's call it, from, from China, Yao Yongji. Um, he is basically uh, one of the directors or founders of Grand Shore Blockchain Fund. Uh, the, the Chinese entrepreneur is in charge of overall one and a half billion dollar blockchain fund and they are not basically backing up or backing down but actually looking for innovational activities uh, and they are also working with Hangzhou as an example uh, the, gov the, the, the city government of, of Hangzhou uh, etc so this is also worth acknowledging that bands are not really the end of the cryptocurrency is not the blockchain evolution. France meanwhile accepted new ICO framework according to CCN to become Europe's leading ICO hub. In fact I see a massive development taking place in, in France and I've seen pretty a lot of good quality blockchain startups coming up. I was just talking about the other day on my Instagram 
uh, if you are not following me Yaqub Rahimo you can go ahead and, and uh, add me on Instagram that uh, I have tested a product called Aiv. Aiv is a part of Peculium project Peculium.io and this is by far the best AI tech that I have seen in blockchain uh, and cryptocurrencies world the fact that since I started to test it I haven't seen this uh, AI make mistake so it's top quality and it's also from France and right now France accepting new ICO framework to become European hub well it may open up further opportunities in there what's really happening and uh, what we can expect from uh, France and its uh, overall aim to become ICO hub of the Europe is probably the fact that for the time being Switzerland has been trying to take the lead Malta has attracted quite a lot of companies and France is waking up seeing that oh boy actually companies are are leaving our country while uh, we can take advantage of it some other companies are or countries are taking advantage of it now moving forward to another country Ukraine introducing new crypto taxation or they're opening up a uh, new proposal according to the introduction of the transaction with ritual assets in the legal field uh, will make it possible to draw 1.27 billion grivna that's uh, pretty much 43 million dollar to budget annually from uh, 2019 to 2024 it's a country that has a massive IT power it's a country that has uh, served quite a lot of the EU innovational companies or innovative companies uh, as an IT outsourced uh, cen center in line with uh, countries such as Lithuania, such as uh, Romania uh, and I personally believe that it's a good opportunity for Ukraine uh, to, to open up its borders well what is it that Ukraine cannot deliver that uh, Belarus can deliver now another uh, father of the market is that New York uh, is uh, moving forward commenting that uh, exchanges such as uh, Kraken, Binance etc they have been operating in the country without really obeying the, the rules and they may be punishable by means of the law uh, I believe it's just a fad in the market uh, and especially by the way within the, uh, that line when we see uh, decentralized exchanges these rules and regulations will not be any more applicable for the fact that uh, if you see peer-to-peer -peer, uh, transaction who can who can tell you not to do or who can tell you how to limit these things Morocco meanwhile uh, a North African country is moving forward with a 36 megawatt Bitcoin mining farm and that's gonna be starting by January 2019 uh, Morocco has a massive solar power uh, overall for the fact that it's it's crazily sunny all the time let's see how they're gonna be taking care of this great opportunity meanwhile Palestine uh, we, we talked about Israel we cannot miss Palestine Palestinians are using Bitcoin according to Coindesk to transact across borders and uh, Bitcoin being borderless literally is a good opportunity uh, similar to well Venezuela as an example or, or Turkey that we saw recently Dubai uh, is another and the final point for me to talk today Dubai police warns against crypto scams uh, however doesn't forget to predict electronic money uh, replacing the cash as we speak uh, Dubai has a very good potential however on ICO site I've spoken to a number of so-called investors from Dubai very few of them materializing I think they are just creating a hype I personally believe that we are just 10 minutes into a century so this sums up for today's video please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and meanwhile share my videos ask me your questions I'm specialized in Fibonacci analysis so if you want me to analyze any coin anything overall drop a line so that I can go ahead and analyze it in my following videos for the time being this is Yagub Rahimov joining from A to Z markets a seven markets group company and I'll see you in our next video